Hello people, it's Ash12 Eternal here again, or it's Ash12 for short. So today, I'm going to be showing you, or explain, yeah, showing you how to, some quick ways and slow ways to get CCM. Now, if you're new, and you're just starting the game, and you're hit 65, and you want to try to get Awakened Weapons, first off, CCM, or Crystal Cross Metals for short, is points you obtain from doing stuff like killing bosses, twenty killing bosses, guild bosses, bosses in zero ten dungeons, arena and territory war, etc., etc. Now, when when Mimic used to be <laughs> top dog, the top dog class, it everybody usually used our CCM to buy the skills. So what I'm going to show you is first I'm going to show you the entire fast method first before I show you the slow method. The slow method is short like two different ways you can do it but there's a couple of fast ways you can do it. it I guess it really depends on the person at the end of the day but there's three types of CCM three types of CCM because when you're doing the dungeons or your dun your dungeon dungeon runs not the trials sometimes you'll get weapons and armors that you can't sell what you do with those is take them to the arcane box and break them down. Now there's, like I said, three types. The first type is the 18 CCM bar, which you get from two two hand weapons. Then there's the six CCM bar, which you get from one hand weapons. And finally, there's the three CCM bar, which you get from armor and shields. Now the fastest method, since I, I keep saying that, but let me, I, I keep saying that. What I'm about to show you is multiple fast methods, but they're all part of the same method. Like, if you do it all in one day, it's considered the fast method of obtaining a lot of CCM at once. Now, I'm, first, I'm going to go to Viridia, because that's, that's where we're going to start off, where we're going to farm the CCM. Okay, part one of the fast method is doing the Varuna Dungeons. I don't know why I pronounced it as Viridia before. The the Varuna Dungeons give a, good, a lot of 18 CCM bars. Make sure before you come in, you grab daily because you get 10 of these for free if you kill everything in the 0-10. So, here we are. Check the boss. As you see, he has the CCM drops. 3 and 6, you get if... I think you get randomly if you break him, but the 18 one is like a 50% chance, a 50 50-50, 50% uh, 50 chance to get it, 50% chance to not get it, because I didn't get it every single run, sometimes I got it, sometimes I didn't, so you have to use Shy Man. Oh boy. Where's my staff? Okay, take the guy down and see what we get. What I would recommend doing for this dungeon is, uh, uh, there we go, there we go, times 4 CCM, look at that, times 4 CCM acquired. So what I would recommend doing for this, because the bosses here are kind of tough if you're undergeared, what I would suggest doing, get a friend, get a friend, a strong friend who's pretty geared and do this dungeon multiple times, have him class for it, use your strongest class just to kill all the bosses and you can pretty much do that until you capped all of them in this area 
So I'm just going to fast forward ahead to after I'm out of this dungeon because I need the CCM. Because I just, I cannot afford to skip out on it. After we're done with that method, you can, pre you can pretty much just rinse and repeat this method until you get enough. Like I said, you won't always get it. But if you're lucky enough to get get it from every single boss, every single run, from this one and the, the um decay hollows, from the veridicity of ruins, you should come out if you get get it every single boss, every single run, you should come out with around two hundred of the eighteen bars and one hundred and sixty from the other dungeon. Now to save you a lot of time for people who don't know the rest of the drops in this dungeon, I'm just gonna just tell you them. Cause I'm not gonna do the decay howls. <laughs> that dungeon is kind of hard with the class drops, because just just because of the pack, the first boss is mimic, and I haven't played that in forever. Now, for the Veruna City, for, I keep pronouncing it wrong. For the Veruna City ruins, the first boss for the CCM is Shyman. The second boss is Sage. The third boss is Blade Dancer. The fourth boss is Ranger. And the last boss is Knight. Now for the Decayed Hollows, the first boss is Mimic, second boss is Warrior, the third boss is Illusionist, and the last boss is Warlock. And total, you should have, again, if you're lucky enough to get it every single run, you should have around 360 18 CCM bars. Plus the dailies, that's 380 CCM bars. Now, use them all at once, and that is a total of 6,840 CCM. We're pretty much almost done with the set we're trying to make, if you're trying to make a set, or a weapon, whatever. We're almost done. We're, half, we're a little bit over half. So now I'm just going to go to the next method. See you there. Next up on the part two of the fast method is we have the gale boss. Now, killing the gale bosses, I wouldn't recommend doing this not not first because just for the simple fact that you won't always find your gale boss because somebody's probably already gonna kill it. Now, it gives around 27 CCM. If you kill one gale boss in one area from Channel 1 and Channel 5, that's around 135 CCM. Now, there's a, there's a few areas you can get CCM at level 100. Those areas, those areas are, one of them is Durango Kingdom, Ethereal Dome, Mariasha, Shaxia, and Mayland. Those are the areas you can get CCM at level 100. Now, if you're lucky enough and nobody didn't kill your guild bosses, then total, if you do all those areas, channel 1 through 5, you should have around 600, you should make around 675 CCM per, per all the areas at once. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but remember, guild bosses reset every two hours. Therefore, if you do this constantly, it, let's, okay, let's say... You kill, you do, you do all this at once first. Wait two hours and repeat the process. By the time you've done this around 11, uh, 11 hours or so, it should be around. It should, you should have around 4,050. You should have made around 4,050 CCM just from farming guild bosses every two hours in these five areas. But like I said, you're not always going to find them. Just because, you know, people are going to end up, you know, killing them already. And that will mess up your farming method. But this is considered the fast method, for me at least, just because of the fact that if it was a double CCM event, if, and you did this, in 11 hours, instead of 4,050, it would be 8,100. So, it's a it's a pretty efficient method. Now, I'm going to go to the last part of the fast method. And the rest is going to be the slow methods. Alright, I'll see you there. Okay, we are on the last part of the fast method. And... Part 3 of the fast method is doing Dream of Destruction Dungeons. 
Now, at first, it, it probably doesn't seem like it gives a lot, but I pretty much did the math on the amount of bosses and the CCM you get. So, on Monday, you get 40 Angor, and you should get around 720 CCM. Or on Tuesday, Shell and Tassels, you should have around 720 as well. Erota and Mordecor, or on Wednesday, you should have 900. Vel Shark and Branda, you should have 1,080 CCM on Thursday. Malice and Ulta on Friday, you should have 1,260 1, CCM. Belta and Mares on Saturday, you should have 1,080. And on Sunday, which is Slay and Van, you should have 1,440 CCM. Now, I'm going to also tell you the 95 Dream of Destruction Dungeons because they they don't have two on a certain date. They don't have two like these, like the 90 version. They just have one. So on Monday, which is Crimson, you'll get 720. Tuesday, you'll get 720 from Sentry. Wednesday, Base and Border, which is 900. Federal Armory, 540 on Thursday. Friday is Minor, which you get 900. Colossus, Colossal, which is on Saturday, you'll get 720. And Starom Dungeon, on Sunday, you'll get 540. Now, I, like I said, I, I totaled all this up. So, total, on Monday, if you do 90 and 95, you should have around 1,440. Tuesday, 1,440. Wednesday, 1,800. Thursday, 1,620. Friday, 2,160. And Saturday, 1,800. And Sunday, 1,980. Total that, total that all up. If you do this all throughout the week, and you should have around 12,240 CCM. How about that? Now, honestly, if if you if you're dedicated enough to do this throughout the entire week, props to you, because you're pretty much already done with your set. But now we can go to the slow methods. I I think I don't want to say four trials. See, I, I'm thinking if four trials is considered the slow method, but. It, I'm, I'm a little in between yes and no, so I might add it or I might not. I don't know. I'm not sure. I, I'll see when I'm editing this. Okay, I'm going to go to, I guess, the first part of Slow Method. Okay, now we're starting the Slow Method, and I I looked over it, and yes, Sally Four Trials is considered the Slow Method. The reason I was... The reason I couldn't decide before was because I was thinking about when it was double CCM event and you was getting 648 CCM per run and total you should have around 1,296 if you capped four trials with the double CCM event. But without it, you're getting around 324 CCM per run, which totals, if you cap it, to around 648. So it's considered the slow method. Now, what I'm going to be reviewing next is the trials. We're going to go to the trials next. Slow method part two is the trials 80 and 85. Now, you, I would suggest if you could, if you even thinking about doing the slow method, try doing this last because some trials like freaking Veil Spire, that third boss where you constantly kept healing with the ghosts and stuff. That's why I said I would suggest doing this maybe last. Now, for for the trial, for all these trials give the same amount of CCM, so they all give around 180 each. So you can, like I said, do this last if you're even considering doing the slow method. But most of you won't, because depending on after y'all watch this video, I'm pretty sure most of you people are just gonna end up doing the fast method first. If you didn't reach the CCM that you need, then you'll consider doing the slow method. Now we got two more parts to go and then we're pretty much done. Part three of the slow method is doing the dungeons from Ithera Dome to Mariasha. The first dungeon 
the first dungeon in either El Dome gives around 450 if you cap. The one in Ice Flame Highlands gives around 450 as well. The one in Mariasha gives 600. And the last one in Mariasha gives 450. Total it up and it is 1950 CCM. See, some people might consider this the fast method, but trust me. Just trust me. Do this. Do those dungeons every single day and it's it's going to get real tiresome. Believe me. You're better off doing the Varuna, the Varuna trick. Trust me. Now we can go on to the last and tedious method. Okay, now we're at the last and most gruesome method. Now, here's a pro tip just for me. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this method until you have done every single other method. If you Make sure you have done the fast and most of the slow methods before you try this. Because this method is going to require you have a lot of time. Like, you just... You need to live and probably breathe this game. You're going to have to waste hours on end doing this method if you want extra CCM. So, what you want to do is head to Witchcraft Forest and you have to start at Witchcraft Forest. Do not start anywhere else. I tried Highlands. The CCM will give you 6. It will not give you 18. You have to start from Witchcraft Forest and in beyond that. So, go to, go to the Colossal Dungeon. Once you're in, head to the first boss. Get all the guys. So what we're going to be doing is basically farming the blue weapons. The ones I said you won't be able to sell. Now if you're desperate enough and you still haven't gotten the amount of CCM you need, this is this is the method you have to do. Because some of these dungeons give two or even three depending on a certain boss. I remember one time I killed the boss in this dungeon specifically. The first boss dropped two of his blue weapons. Now... Like I said, the next the next dungeon in this area alone has three bosses. They give around f each of them have around one two hand one for each. So basically, you have to just repeat the process. But like I said, most of you aren't going to just you aren't going to do this. I I'm certain most of you won't. See, there goes two hand weapon. Watch out, sometimes they'll have Reflect. Also, they have a chance to drop eating crystals, but you won't get it most likely. So just run the, dun run the dungeon like you normally would. Try to get the weapons, that the two-hand weapons specifically. Just aim for the two-hand weapons. If you get some one-hand weapons, go for it. If not, don't worry about it. You're here for the two-hand ones. See what your two hand weapon is, and it's Hunter. Huh. But I do love the new trainer. Just wish I could run with it though. That's done. Leave. Once you've completed that, get any weapons that you got from the run. Arcane box. 
break them down. There we go. See, there we go. You're better off doing dungeons that give specifically a lot of two hand weapons. But I would the problem with this method is if if you decide to do this method, you have to you can do this all the way up till Durango Kingdom. So if I do if I do the math correctly, you're gonna be doing around a hundred and ten to to hundred and thirty runs. And that's that's just not worth it. Like you're better off doing the Varuna dungeons and Dream of Destruction dungeons. That alone should get you the AK. But if you're sick, <laughs> you just want all the CCL, go for it. Do the fast and slow method. Well, thank you very much for watching. I I guess I'm back now since I've been dead for a while now. Uh, uh, maybe I, I hope I can get some other videos out that I've been thinking about doing. Maybe the awake explaining the awakened arm request. Maybe. All right. Thank you for watching. Zash twelve out.